Hey guys, it's Joanne here. So today I would thought I would bring you a quick, I just have two pens to review from the Dollar Tree. I got them a couple weeks ago. I hauled them. One is the Color Therapy Liquid, Liquid Mark, perfect for adult coloring books. And the other one is the Ink Brand Just Right. So I am going to give these a shot and test demo them out right in front of you and let you know if you should buy them or if you should save your buck. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to turn you around facing down and we are going to test them out in a coloring book which this is just a dollar tree coloring book so it's pretty thin paper and then also we're going to test them out inside of a planner planner pages that i have here i demoed the planner page in another video so we're just going to be using this to demo on and let's turn it around get down and let's get down to business okay so here we go so first we are going to try the again this is the ink brand just right. It's called the LV400 Comfort Grit Retractable Comfort Grip, excuse me, retractable low viscosity ink. It's a 1. Point millimeter and it comes in three colors, which is uh, pink, purple, and green. My three favorite ink colors of all kinds. So we're gonna open these up. And again, these are all purchased at the Dollar Tree. So in first inspection, I like the weight of these. They feel nice. I'm going to pop this open and you can see the one thing that I absolutely love is the fact that there is a goober ball at the end. And if you've seen my, my last Dollar Tree pen video that I did with a Google Live Hangout, you'll notice that I always commented on that as far as I loved the goober ball. So we are going to pop off the goober ball and it went flying across the room. And I'm gonna put these two over here and we are going to test this first inside of the Lisa Frank coloring book. I am just going to, I am just gonna open up to this page and then I'm just gonna try to color and see how it colors. The ink flows very nice. Ooh, yeah, baby. I like that. So I do like the way it writes. You can see, of course, that it, it bleeds through on the other side, but again, that's why the Dollar Tree, that's why these books only have one on a page. So one of the things that you probably should do whenever you're doing some type of coloring like this is just to put something here so that it'll protect it from bleeding through to the next page. So I like the pink. I like the way this writes. I'm just going to try the other colors and then we're going to take it over to the planner. Um, I'm just going to, oh, got to pop off the goober ball. And, and like these immediately start, these immediately start um, flowing. Like there's no Oh, I like that. I do, do really like that. And now let's try the green. Pop off. Look at the, ooh, that one's got a green goober ball. I like that. Okay, and we're going to color this. Yeah, I like the way, um, all three of these, right, honestly. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to flip over and I'm going to use a planner page. And it's basically, I'm just going to like kind of write my name and see how it writes. I like that. Oh, I like the purple one better. The green one kind of had a little bit of a stick to it, if you know what I mean. Like it didn't seem to flow as well as the green or as the purple and the pink. I really, let me just try this one again. Yeah, this one seems to, can you tell how it's a little bit lighter? 
The green one seems to have a little bit of a catch in it, and I don't know if that's just that it needs to flow more. But I, th I think you guys know what I mean. Yeah, it's... The green one seems to have a little bit of a catch to it, but it's starting to get better as it goes along. But I would have to say all in all, I mean, even for the pink, even for the pink and the purple one, and I, I think this is probably just a fluke in the green one, I would definitely give these a, um, I would definitely buy these, definitely buy them again. I love the pink. I love the purple. They nice, smooth writing. I don't know how much ink's in there. I don't know how long they will last per se, but as far as first impressions and commentary on how I feel when I write my name, that's what I would give these. I would probably say as far as a one out of 10, I would give these maybe an a seven and a half or eight only because mainly because the green one I felt was a little bit off and that could like again that could just be a fluky thing with this pack per se so okay so let's move to the next one which I'm really excited to try these these are the liquid mark color therapy and they are these are fine tip markers so where these were more like the ballpoint pens these are actual uh, felt tip markers so these are definitely going to be more for coloring than they are in a planner but oh you know what i forgot to check any the bleed through obviously there's no bleed through when it comes to a planner that's the reason why i wanted to do a coloring book and a planner because you guys want to know if you use these in your planner is it going to bleed through on the other side right okay so this is what it looks like these are what these look like First impressions, one of the things I look at when it comes to pens that have caps is will the cap stay? And I really, really like the way this cap, it, this cap is not going anywhere once you put it on. That's what the, I got like a little, where'd that glitter come from? That's what the tip looks like as far as the marker goes. And we're just going to go ahead and continue. I'm going to go back to our page. Back to our dolphin. Oh, that, that's not the dolphin. Here's our dolphins, and we're going to continue coloring with this marker. Uh, let's see. Let's do let's do this little area right up here. I am not a very good colorer, in case you haven't figured that out. So, really nice coverage. Um, definitely bleeds through. Definitely bleeds through. So you definitely want to have something that's thicker than paper for when you're working in the thinner in the thinner planners. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna check and make sure quick that all of these work. Yep, that works very good. Let me try this one. This is a very dark gray, by the way. Comes out a lot darker than obviously the... And the last one we have is a green. We'll do this star green. Yeah. So I, I definitely like them as far as coverage goes, but look, guys, they, they totally bleed through. Totally bleed through, which you kind of expect with markers, but again, just another warning. Make sure you have something... Like, and I, the reason why I picked this is this, this is a January page mark, page divider that I'm not going to be using anymore to cover that. Okay, so now let's flip over to here and we're going to see what happens when we write in these if it bleeds through on the other side. So I'm just going to do something like, I'm going to write like a to-do. Let's see, get groceries. That did not bleed through. And yeah, I spelled groceries wrong. Okay, so we're going to cut. I can't even spell cut or color. Cut and color. <laughs> what kind of demo is this that does not bleed through? And they seem to write pretty nice. Uh, what else am I going to do here? Dollar Tree. Yeah, they definitely, as far as the Happy Planner goes, these definitely do not bleed through. No bleed. So, I actually really like these for planners. Really, I, I actually like the way they write in the planner better than they color. 
especially in these coloring books because I don't know if you noticed but in the coloring books it kind of like it kind of ate away at the paper fibers and definitely this type of really heavy duty planner pages definitely takes the ink a lot better so but I still definitely I mean as far as markers go I would definitely give these these are like these are like a nine right nine ten I mean I don't see anything wrong with them at all except for the fact that you know obviously it's thinner paper it's gonna it's gonna rip the that's not the fault of the pen that's the fault of the paper but again just to clarify if you're going to be using these in the coloring book if it's thin pages you want to use something to protect your next page but it happens to take the ink very well the ink takes very well to the happy planner pages so that is my review i'm giving these pretty much a 9 10 and i'm giving these i can't even remember what i said a seven what did i say <laughs> i'll go back to, you know i, I yeah i get i think i gave it a seven eight just because of the fact that uh the green one wasn't working so that is it for my video today, guys. If you like these kind of if you like these kind of videos, these review these Dollar Tree review videos, please make sure you give me a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel, and it also lets me know that you like these kind of videos. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Joanne. That's my alarm clock saying I need to start making dinner. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Joanne. Nice to meet you. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, then you'll get notified as to when I upload new videos. And I'm noticing my choker is crooked. So let me straighten out my choker right in the middle of this. That, that's probably going to drive me crazy that it was crooked the whole time. You can also follow me on all of my other social media. I am at Joanne Plans on pretty much anything. Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, Twitter, Musical.ly. You name it. Just search Joanne Plans and you will probably find me. That is it for me today, guys. You guys be awesome. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'm going to chat with you in my next video. Bye, guys.